We are Zmotion Autonomous Systems. I am Ritinjay Hegde, one of the co-founders and uh, CTO for Zmotion Autonomous Systems. We are based out of Bangalore. We are located at two locations, Kevil Bangalore. Currently, uh, what we are sitting here is our corporate office located at uh, Airport Road, Bangalore. And we have one more our original facility of the manufacturing facility inside Ayalanka area. Zmotion Autonomous Systems was established in 2018. We became fully functional in 2019. We came with core objective of developing the fundamental technologies that are required for unmanned aerial vehicles. The team was not uh, of the college startup. The core team members came with multiple years of experience in specifically in unmanned aerial vehicles, primarily the design and development of unmanned aerial vehicles and the software for it, the hardware for it, the aerodynamic design for it. So we started with multi disciplinary engineering verticals inside the company with a core objective of developing independent components independent core technologies in a specific r&d team oriented uh, development manner uh, we have in house design and development of complete autopilot system uh, we design its control algorithms we design its entire software we design the complete interfaces the sensor part of it the sensor fusion part of it we also design and develop the pcb part or the embedded hardware part for the entire autopilot the power module system and also the propulsion systems for it. the pcbs are designed in house manufactured locally assembled locally here in bangalore and we have our internal ess testing facility also for the quality assurance of all our electronic components uh, then comes our uh, mechanical design team we have a collaborative design team uh, where it does both the composite part design along with the aerodynamic consideration and the load consideration for the entire structure so it's a fused team where uh, the aerodynamics the structural integrity and the load analysis and the composite configuration the, the advanced composite configuration for it is designed and developed in that team uh, these all are brought together to develop and produce uh, multiple varieties of unmanned aerial vehicle we have multitudes of aerial vehicles platforms as our product categories we initiated with multi rotors ranging from uh, 2 kg all up weight up to oh, 25 kg all up weight we have designed and developed and we have delivered to multiple customers also for a variety of applications either it might be surveillance either it might be high precision and high resolution mapping uh, it might be for delivery applications we have collaborated with many other operation partners in the uav domain where we have delivered these systems in the initial phases we have delivered uh, sub components as uh, some something as gimbal systems communication systems long range communication modules also to many other uav uh, companies as the sub components for their a uh, particular products also so now coming to the primary focus we are in a phase now where we are uh, focusing on delivery of fully developed fully productionized uh, system to our uh, vendors uh, we have supplying one of the largest orders of larging ammunition systems to indian army we are also supplying multiple systems under idex program which we won under uh, mod in 2019 itself where we have developed the complete system and we have qualified to the user trials operational trials and now they are being deployed uh, with the indian armed forces so uh, we have also delivered a uh, few systems to indian air force also we are working closely with uh, special group operational groups also or a variety of uh, custom built uh, unmanned aerial vehicles both in the surveillance and attack cap so what we foresee as the future road map for said motion autonomous systems is to be the leader in terms of the core technologies that are required for unmanned aerial vehicles primarily the control algorithm systems and the embedded systems for the autopilot we are enhancing our capabilities into the video processing where we have already achieved the absolute target tracking with man in loop configuration we will be moving towards a more of a autonomous target classification and identification kind of configurations where lot of machine learning lot of uh, on the edge processing lot of uh, even few iterations of the ai's perspective also will be involved for the complete uh, operationalization and the 
more effective usage of the unmanned aerial vehicles uh, in the Indian Armed Forces. We also uh, are going to start off with a very clear-cut roadmap uh, segregated under the domain of said motion itself for civilian applications also. All these technologies which we have matured for utilization under defense where the more rugidity, more reliability, more shelf life, more operational capabilities, we are going to bring that to uh, civilian applications either in the use cases of uh, either it might be police or even expanding to long range fully autonomous unmanned deliveries so certainly uh, it's a long road ahead and uh, we hope to cover it at the fastest pace that's possible